What advice would you give to teenagers who are facing peer pressure on sex, nude pics, and drinking? That's a lot going on. <laughs> hey, listen, here's what I would say to um, the people who are pressuring you into anything like that. Listen, I know it's everywhere. You guys, the teenagers today are getting bombarded with stuff like, I'm not saying I never looked at porn. I just had to used to work for it. You know what I'm saying? Like whenever I was a kid, um, you'd have to know somebody that could go get, I'm just being honest. Who do you think he was talking to? Uh, you'd have to know somebody to have to go get this. Listen, it's all over the phones. Uh, it's all. Listen, parents, get really involved in your, in your teenagers' lives. You need to know exactly what's going on. Because, listen, and don't be like, just be a parent. Just be a parent. They need guidance. God puts you in their life for guidance. If you need my help, I'll come in and help out. But listen, you, what I would give, the advice I would give to the teenagers facing peer pressure and stuff, listen, it will run, it will take you down a path further than you ever dreamed that you would ever travel down that path. And it will, it will do things. There's, the Bible says that sin is sin, but there's something different about sexual sin. All other sins are outside of a man's body. There's something emotionally tied to sexual sin that will start destroying and decaying you from the inside out. Um, trust me, I've just been there. And it's insane how much this will affect. If you could just, the problem is, is we live in the moment and teenagers are so driven by their hormones we have got the fruit, one of the fruits of the spirit is self-control and that's one of the most lacking things of all in all christians i believe these days is self-control because we live in a day and age of self-gratification like instant gratification if it feels good do it if it feels good at the moment it's probably going to destroy your future you have got to Surround yourself with good, positive influences. This is why it's so vital to be plugged into a family of God, into a small group. Find somebody that can help hold you accountable because you need help. It's everywhere. You can't go to the mall to shop at JCPenney's without walking and seeing Victoria and all of her secrets. <laughs> and that's hard on a young boy. It's hard on a man, let alone a teenage boy. And all this stuff, and the girls have to walk by Hollister, and these guys got their butt cheeks hanging. It's stupid. It's everywhere. You've got to teach. My, I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. And you have got to dig deep and rely on the Spirit of God and his family, his church family that he's placed around you. There is help. There is hope. You need to just get rid of those native influences. And the drinking, you're not old enough, sucker. End of case. Like, not happening. Listen, it's, it'll, it'll take you down a, a path that you don't need to go down. All right? So hopefully, if you need me to talk to your kid, I'll help you out with you there. All right? Next question. 